In chemistry, the term transition metal, or transition element, has three possible meanings. The IUPAC definition defines a transition metal as an element whose atom has a partially filled D subshell, or which can give rise to cations with an incomplete D subshell. Many scientists describe a transition metal as any element in the D block of the periodic table, which includes groups 3 to 12 on the periodic table. In actual practice, the F block lanthanide and actinide series are also considered transition metals and are called inner transition metals. Cotton and Wilkinson expand the brief IUPAC definition see above by specifying which elements are included. As well as the elements of groups 4 to 11, they add scandium and yttrium in group 3 which have a partially filled D subshell in the metallic state. Lanthanum and actinium in group 3 are however classified as lanthanides and actinides respectively. English chemist Charles Berry 1890 to 1968 first used the word transition in this context in 1921 when he referred to a transition series of elements during the change of an inner layer of electrons, for example n equals 3 in the fourth row of the periodic table from a stable group of 8 to 1 of 18 or from 18 to 32. These elements are now known as the D block. Classification In the D block the atoms of the elements have between 1 and 10 D electrons. The elements of groups 4 to 11 are generally recognized as transition metals, justified by their typical chemistry, i.e. a large range of complex ions in various oxidation states, colored complexes, and catalytic properties either as the element or as ions, or both. S, C and Y in group 3 are also generally recognized as transition metals. However, the elements LeLu and ACLR in group 12 attract different definitions from different authors. Many chemistry textbooks and printed periodic tables classify Le and AC as group 3 elements and transition metals, since their atomic ground state configurations are S2D1 like S, C and Y the elements C, E, Lu are considered as the lanthanide series or lanthanoid according to IUPAC and THLR as the actinide series. The two series together are classified as F-block elements, or in older sources as inner transition elements. Some inorganic chemistry textbooks include LA with the lanthanides and AC with the actinides. This classification is based on similarities in chemical behavior, and defines 15 elements in each of the two series even though they correspond to the filling of an F subshell which can only contain 14 electrons. A third classification defines the F block elements as La YB and AC NO, while placing LU and LR in group 3. This is based on the Aufbau principle or Madeline rule for filling electron subshells, in which 4F is filled before 5D and 5F before 6D, so that the F subshell is actually full at YB and no, while LU and LR has an S2F14D1 configuration. However LA and AC are exceptions to the Aufbau principle with electron configuration S2D1 not S2F1 as the Aufbau principle predicts, so it is not clear from atomic electron configurations whether LA or LU AC or LR should be considered as transition metals. Zinc, cadmium, and mercury are generally excluded from the transition metals as they have the electronic configuration D10S2, with no incomplete D shell. In the oxidation state plus 2 the ions have the electronic configuration D10. However, these elements can exist in other oxidation states, including the plus 1 oxidation state, as in the diatomic ion Hg2 plus 2. The group 12 elements Zn, Cd and Hg may therefore, under certain criteria, be classed as post-transition metals in this case. However, it is often convenient to include these elements in a discussion of the transition elements. For example, when discussing the crystal field stabilization energy of first row transition elements, it is convenient to also include the elements calcium and zinc, as both Ca2 plus and Zn2 plus have a value of zero against which the value for other transition metal ions may be compared. Another example occurs in the Irving-Williams series of stability constants of complexes. 
the recent though disputed and so far not reproduced independently, synthesis of mercury IV fluoride, mercury IV fluoride, has been taken by some to reinforce the view that the group 12 elements should be considered transition metals, but some authors still consider this compound to be exceptional, although mitnerium, darmstadium, and rentgenium are within the D block and are expected to behave as transition metals analogous to their lighter congeners iridium, platinum, and gold, this has not yet been experimentally confirmed. Subclasses Early transition metals are on the left-hand side of the periodic table from group 3 to group 7. Late transition metals are on the right side of the D block, from group 8 to 11 and 12 if it is counted as transition metals. Electronic configuration The general electronic configuration of the D-block elements is inert gas N-1, D110NS02. The period 6 and 7 transition metals also add N-2, F014 electrons, which are omitted from the tables below. The Madeling rule predicts that the typical electronic structure of transition metal atoms can be written as inert gas NS2 N1 dm where the inner d orbital is predicted to be filled after the valence shell's s orbital is filled. This rule is however only approximate, it only holds for some of the transition elements, and only then in their neutral ground state. The d sub-shell is the next to last sub-shell and is denoted as N minus 1 d display style n1 d subshell the number of s electrons in the outermost s subshell is generally 1 or 2 except palladium pd with no electron in that s subshell in its ground state the s subshell in the valence shell is represented as the ns subshell eg fours in the periodic table, the transition metals are present in eight groups, 4 to 11, with some authors including some elements in groups 3 or 12. The elements in group 3 have an NS2, N-1, D1 configuration. The first transition series is present in the fourth period, and starts after Ca, Z. 20 of group 2 with the configuration R fours 2, or scandium SC, the first element of group 3 with atomic number Z. 21 and configuration R fours 23 D1, depending on the definition used. As we move from left to right, electrons are added to the same D sub-shell till it is complete. The element of group 11 in the first transition series is copper, Cu, with an atypical configuration, R, force 13 D10. Despite the filled D subshell in metallic copper it nevertheless forms a stable ion with an incomplete D subshell. Since the electrons added fill the N minus 1 D Display style n1 d orbitals. The properties of the d block elements are quite different from those of s and p block elements, in which the filling occurs either in s or in p orbitals of the valence shell. The electronic configuration of the individual elements present in all the d block series are given below. A careful look at the electronic configuration of the elements reveals that there are certain exceptions, for example Cr and Cu. These are either because of the symmetry or nuclear electron and electron-electron force. The n minus 1 d display style n1 d Orbitals that are involved in the transition metals are very significant because they influence such properties as magnetic character, variable oxidation states, formation of colored compounds, etc. The valence S N S display style S N S and P N P display style P and P 
orbitals have very little contribution in this regard since they hardly change in the moving from left to the right in a transition series. In transition metals, there is a greater horizontal similarities in the properties of the elements in a period in comparison to the periods in which the d orbitals are not involved. This is because in a transition series, the valence shell electronic configuration of the elements do not change. However, there are some group similarities as well. Characteristic properties There are a number of properties shared by the transition elements that are not found in other elements, which results from the partially filled D shell. These include The formation of compounds whose color is due to D-D electronic transitions the formation of compounds in many oxidation states, due to the relatively low energy gap between different possible oxidation states. The formation of many paramagnetic compounds due to the presence of unpaired d electrons. A few compounds of main group elements are also paramagnetic, e.g., nitric oxide, oxygen. Most transition metals can be bound to a variety of ligands, allowing for a wide variety of transition metal complexes. Colored compounds Color in transition series metal compounds is generally due to electronic transitions of two principal types. Charge transfer transitions. An electron may jump from a predominantly ligand orbital to a predominantly metal orbital, giving rise to a ligand to metal charge transfer LMCT, transition. These can most easily occur when the metal is in a high oxidation state. For example, the color of chromate, dichromate and permanganate ions is due to LMCT transitions. Another example is that mercuric iodide, mercury-2 iodide, is red because of a LMCT transition. A metal-to-ligand charge transfer, MLCT transition will be most likely when the metal is in a low oxidation state and the ligand is easily reduced. In general charge transfer transitions result in more intense colors than DD transitions. D-D transitions. An electron jumps from one D orbital to another. In complexes of the transition metals the D orbitals do not all have the same energy. The pattern of splitting of the D orbitals can be calculated using crystal field theory. The extent of the splitting depends on the particular metal, its oxidation state and the nature of the ligands. The actual energy levels are shown on Tanabe-Sagano diagrams. In centrosymmetric complexes, such as octahedral complexes, DD transitions are forbidden by the Laporte rule and only occur because of vibronic coupling in which a molecular vibration occurs together with a DD transition. Tetrahedral complexes have somewhat more intense color because mixing D and P orbitals is possible when there is no center of symmetry, so transitions are not pure DD transitions. The molar absorptivity epsilon of bands caused by DD transitions are relatively low, roughly in the range 5 to 500 m-1 cm-1, where m equals mole dm-3. Some DD transitions are spin forbidden. An example occurs in octahedral, high spin complexes of manganese 2, which has a D5 configuration in which all five electron has parallel spins, the color of such complexes is much weaker than in complexes with spin-allowed transitions. Many compounds of manganese, too, appear almost colorless. The spectrum of Minnesota H2O 62 plus shows a maximum molar absorptivity of about 0.04 m-1 cm-1 in the visible spectrum. Oxidation states a characteristic of transition metals is that they exhibit two or more oxidation states, usually differing by one. For example, compounds of vanadium are known in all oxidation states between minus one, such as VCO six minus, and plus five, such as VO three minus four. Main group elements in groups thirteen to eighteen also exhibit multiple oxidation states. The common Oxidation states of these elements typically differ by two. For example, compounds of gallium in oxidation states plus one and plus three exist in which there is a single gallium atom. No compound of Ga is known. Any such compound would have an unpaired electron and would behave as a free radical and be destroyed rapidly. 
the only compounds in which gallium has a formal oxidation state of plus 2 or dimeric compounds, such as gallium 3 chloride 2 minus, which contain a Ga Ga bond formed from the unpaired electron on each Ga atom. Thus the main difference in oxidation states, between transition elements and other elements is that oxidation states are known in which there is a single atom of the element and one or more unpaired electrons. The maximum oxidation state in the first row transition metals is equal to the number of valence electrons from titanium plus 4 up to manganese plus 7, but decreases in the later elements. In the second row the maximum occurs with ruthenium plus 8, and in the third row, the maximum occurs with iridium plus 9. In compounds such as manganese 8 oxide, minus and oso 4 the elements achieve a stable octet by forming four covalent bonds. The lowest oxidation states are exhibited in metal carbonyl complexes such as Cr -CO 6 oxidation state 0, and Fe -CO 4 2 minus oxidation state minus 2, in which the 18 electron rule is obeyed. These complexes are also covalent. Ionic compounds are mostly formed with oxidation states plus 2 and plus 3. In aqueous solution, the ions are hydrated by usually six water molecules arranged octahedrally. Magnetism Transition metal compounds are paramagnetic when they have one or more unpaired d electrons. In octahedral complexes with between 4 and 7 d electrons both high spin and low spin states are possible. Tetrahedral transition metal complexes such as iron 4 chloride 2 minus are high spin because the crystal field splitting is small so that the energy to be gained by virtue of the electrons being in lower energy orbitals is always less than the energy needed to pair up the spins. Some compounds are diamagnetic. These include octahedral, low spin, D6 and square planar D8 complexes. In these cases, crystal field splitting is such that all the electrons are paired up. Ferromagnetism occurs when individual atoms are paramagnetic and the spin vectors are aligned parallel to each other in a crystalline material. Metallic iron and the alloy alnico are examples of ferromagnetic materials involving transition metals. Antiferromagnetism is another example of a magnetic property arising from a particular alignment of individual spins in the solid state. Catalytic properties the transition metals and their compounds are known for their homogeneous and heterogeneous catalytic activity. This activity is ascribed to their ability to adopt multiple oxidation states and to form complexes. Vanadium v oxide in the contact process, finely divided iron in the Haber process, and nickel in catalytic hydrogenation are some of the examples. Catalysts at a solid surface nanomaterial -based catalysts involve the formation of bonds between reactant molecules and atoms of the surface of the catalyst first row transition metals utilize 3D and 4's electrons for bonding. This has the effect of increasing the concentration of the reactants at the catalyst surface and also weakening of the bonds in the reacting molecules the activation energy is lowered. Also because the transition metal ions can change their oxidation states, they become more effective as catalysts. An interesting type of catalysis occurs when the products of a reaction catalyst the reaction producing more catalyst autocatalysis. One example is the reaction of oxalic acid with acidified potassium permanganate or manganate 7. Once a little Minnesota 2 plus has been produced, it can react with manganese 8 oxide minus forming Minnesota 3 plus. This then reacts with C2O4- ions forming Minnesota 2 plus again. Physical properties As implied by the name, all transition metals are metals and thus conductors of electricity. In general, transition metals possess a high density and high melting points and boiling points. These properties are due to metallic bonding by delocalized d electrons, leading to cohesion which increases with the number of shared electrons. However the group 12 metals have much lower melting and boiling points since their full d subshells prevent d-d bonding, which again tends to differentiate them from the accepted transition metals. Mercury has a melting point of minus 38.83 degrees Celsius minus 37.89 degrees Fahrenheit and is a liquid at room temperature. See also 
Inner transition element, a name given to any member of the F block. Main group element, an element other than a transition metal. Ligand field theory a development of crystal field theory taking covalency into account. Crystal field theory a model that describes the breaking of degeneracies of electronic orbital states. Post transition metal, a metallic element to the right of the transition metals in the periodic table. References <laughs>